Welcome to Factorio Base in the Book. My name is Neil Aus and this is episode 10 of our Let's Play. So what we are going to do today is uh, something that may not seem super important uh, at the surface, but it is something that you're probably going to need in your base. Uh, if that, and that is basically, well, if you look at this, we have like a small cluster of, of sort of our core is now roboportized. Roboportized, yes, that's the word. And then, but we, what we really want to do is simply close off the perimeter and simply shut it down and go, this is our base, no one gets in or out. Well, okay, maybe someone gets in and out right here, but that's it. And in order for us to do that, we need to make sure that we have robot pots everywhere. I want to strengthen our defenses so that they don't run only on ammo, but they also run on flamers because flamers are just amazing. So that is basically what we want to do. We want to, uh, and in order to do that, we are also going to need a lot more stone. Also, uh, yeah, the stone here is kind of running out. Let me just take that off. Kind of running out. So a lot of this episode will be about strengthening our defenses and our infrastructure. So that's definitely what we want to focus on. The thing that we wanted to focus on first is getting more stone inbound. We do have stone here, but you can see how little a trickle there is here. And it has to go into uh, also basically mainly go on the bus for rails. But aside from this, it goes in here and just becomes landfill. And if you look at the landfill, it's only 680 landfill. That is not enough. And although this could become a lot of landfill, it's just never going to get there with this slowness of slownessness. Slownessness? Yes, slownessness. Uh, we also have this part. Uh, somehow this one is not hooked up yet. That's kind of bad, I guess. Yeah, that might be just the first thing we want to do. Let's uh, let's make sure that that one gets uh, gets done. We want to make sure that our resources are actually being used. I am okay, and I also should do a supply run because what we want to do, if we want to hook up this one, it's going to be super easy. I'm going to branch it out here. We're going to go in and we're going to build like one of these we have in our book, that one, and let's just scroll down. I know you're there. I know you're there. There you are, that's the one. See, one of these should be absolutely perfect for what we need down here. It's gonna be like so perfect, it's unbelievable. There you go, that's gonna be there, so we just need to make sure that we can get it in. Actually, I think that I'm, I think I'm gonna just uh, branch it out here. Yeah, 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 let's do, let's do that. So let me get uh, down there, we get a car and I do have a bit of fuel. Do we have rails and we have all the stuff that we need? I think, yeah, let's put grenades in there, great. And 10 turrets have engaged the enemy. So we are being attacked everywhere. And as we scale up, because we'd like to get more science. So let's start the science. We should have the stuff we need. So let's start by getting some speed science here. And then from there on, move into some other more expensive stuff so that we are sure that we keep the base operational. And as we keep the base operational, oh, I forgot to fix this deal. I'll do that on the way home. As the base becomes more operational, there will also be more things that we need to build or sorry, more things. Ah, come stop. Uh, though, as it becomes, come on. Once again, as the base becomes more operational, it'll make more pollution. More pollution, not a good thing. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take these two out because otherwise I can't flip it. And then I'm gonna build it, flip it. Mm, let's uh, let's put it here. Yeah, that's probably fine. That one. And the other way. And then we need to make sure we have signals. That one, that one. You don't need more than this. I have started to make sort of a different, uh, that actually was okay to put it there. It's kind of irrelevant. And a kind of a different way of, of looking at things. You only put, in this case, change signals when it crosses an intersection. That's how I do it because yeah, normally I would also build it like here before a uh, before a split, but there's no need to build it before a split. So you can get burn, you get by with a lot less signals. So if you look at this, there's one sig one block there, one block there. There's this pink block and there's this pink block. I mean, this one really shouldn't be there. This one shouldn't be there, by the way. Don't think about it as much. There, and I'm gonna take this out here on this side. Oops, yep. 
And do we have a few grenades? Yes, we do. Ow. 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 Okay. So we're not going to build the whole damn thing, but we're going to just build some of it. And uh, now that I look at this, I think there's definitely something that probably shouldn't be built like this. Like, first of all, why is this built so far away from where it needs to be? There, right? There is no reason not to build it like this. The only reason not to build it like this is because it overlaps with the path and then we just clear it. So this is definitely better, definitely better. There's no reason to make it bigger than that. And we're just gonna clear out a bit of space so we have room for our maneuvers here. Yep. Look at me not blowing myself up like this, nice. Okay, just a bit, okay. And we take this out and we'll get There, perfect. Let me grab the, okay. Not quite perfect because that one was still there. And oh, I feel like we're really running so slowly. Yep. Get that dirt, dirt sound that we just love. And we need a few more explosives here. Two? Yeah. And down here again. Take that out. There. <clears throat> so I only need one at this point, and this will be some for stone. Done. And this one, I'll just make it mining and stone. Done. Uh, that E is probably not necessary. Here, I don't set any number of trains that it can handle. And then from here on, it's all about just making it... Just making it that it's just basically paint by numbers, which is something I don't bother doing right now or right on camera. So we'll uh, skip that one. And so we built this part. This is very nice. And all we need now is to hook it up and also pick up my car so I don't forget it. This one just needs a thing to pull there. And the whole thing is now fired up. And I realized that I forgot a train to do this. I think that I might want a single more of these over here. Let me just see. Maybe that one. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, and I am gonna get the car here and we are now going to get somewhere that it goes in. We need to find the train going in here. Oh yeah, one more thing that I really want to uh, emphasize because trains will run out of fuel very, very quickly. And the way I want to solve that is, if I look at that one, it's definitely not like this. It is by doing that one, switching this to wood and switching it to that. So this one will be the one we use at all locations, like that, and that, and that. And over on this side, I think I have put the inbound, but I don't think I have it here. So what does this mean? This means that now if I harvest some wood out there in the world, it'll fill up 1,000 in each of these. Oh, that's not good. This one is not, the, oops. Huh? Yes, uh, then, yeah, so I want to make sure that I, I've removed this. Let's see, where are the robots? Where are the robots? Come on, I just gave you a command. Oh, there you are, there you are, you are coming in. All right, and uh, then I need to start cleaning out the rob The There. Uh, that's not actually working because that's kind of still, oh, right, right, right. So what we want to do is we want to go up Ah, uh, let's see, that one. Yes, that's the one. We now are on an absolute crusade to fill up the entire area with robot ports. There, and down here as well. 
all the way around everywhere we want to have RoboPorts. Okay, maybe not that one. Uh, maybe not that one. But anything else, we want RoboPorts at all locations. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, eh, I like this one as well. Yeah, I'm going to build it like this. Cool. Oh, you know what? It's all the way up there as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. So that should also get them busy with robots and also with uh, lots and lots and lots of lights. I'm going to use my comb thing just to fix this. Uh, this is this is fixing all the power pole, so that the power poles now have like neat patterns instead of the mess that sometimes happens in these corners when they get placed. So that's pretty good. And robots, how many robots do we have? We have a well, we still have a lot of them available, so that needs to be uh, fixed as well. I wonder where the first... Let's uh, see where we have some... The first forays are going to be... Ah, uh, it's going to be down here. We'll definitely take all of this out. Done. Uh, that one is also probably going to be done as well. Good. Now, that should mean... Well, not in this case, but in all the other cases, that should mean that we will... Uh, let me see... That, okay, now robots are going to be busy. That means we also probably should increase the amount of robots we have. Here. We can do that. And let me just see where the... Good. Ah... Uh, I don't know, should I be? Yeah, I should, I should be doing this. I'll pick you up. Go all the way up here. Yeah, we want to get the steel in. Right now, we're not using steel in super vast quantities, but we might as well get both of them inbound here. That one. Good. So we want... Oh, look at that. Nuclear power is already done. We need lasers, and then we need laser turrets for sure. And we can get, like, trains, faster trains. Oh, si robot? Cargo size, yeah, sure. All of this, just right now, we just, what the hell is that? Mining productivity, that's a new icon. That is like, whoa, that's, everything is new icons. How do they not, look at that. That's new, that's new, that's new. That is definitely new. That's very new. That, even the refined flame, I think that's from since yesterday. Wow, nice, 0. 0.33. That's why you always pay on latest with uh, Factorio because it does not affect stability. It just affects awesomeness. So yeah, it's pretty good. This is good, except there's kind of one thing missing. All right, here's the trick for you. What is missing in that location? Guess it, a train. A freaking train is missing. <laughs> and I'm going to go up here. We're going to get a train. And then we're going to go and build the new location that will make uh, stone bricks. It's just stone and uh, all the last thing. What was the last thing? The last thing we want is I'll just take these two. Yeah, uh, the last thing we want is there. Uh, just what, uh, landfill, landfill, landfill. It is landfill. It is all right. And these are just working like crazy. What is the stockpile here? That's 50. Yes, please. Nuclear power is not something I really want to focus on right now. I just don't feel that that's the most important thing we can do right now. So, but I want to get up here and do I have some fuel? Nope. Can I just grab some fuel from this? Are they even? Not at all even. So I can take easily take from this one. Good. We should probably also get some. Uh, let's see. There, and just make sure that, yeah. <clears throat> None of these are getting anything yet. Where is our storage? Okay, we don't have anything here, but these ones are being done, are they? I think there's some of them are being picked up. Yeah, 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 look at that, look at that. They're actually going in here and filling this one up first. That's exactly what I wanted. So this goes up to, uh, to 1,000, I guess. And then after 1,000, they'll go into one of the other ones. Great. As long as I keep just re uh, moving those out uh, once in a while, then that's going to be fine. That goes from, nope. Oh, lasers are coming. That goes from here until full, and then it goes to there until empty. 
And then I'm going to take one more of these trains and I'm just gonna go like that. I'm gonna send you off. Off you go into the world with you. How many tra coal trains we have? We don't have enough coal. Well, we do have enough coal trains. Also, this seems kind of silly, doesn't it? Putting two trains for this part. That one has three. That one has two. It's okay. I don't think they need two trains for for stone. I definitely don't. But now I guess I'm doing it. There. Go. And the next thing we want to do is basically go to our stone build and then design the way that we want to build it. It's going to be super easy to make because it's, well... Um, all right, why, what do we, else do we need? Yeah, this one is just sort of slowly propagating out. You can see our RoboPort network is now spreading out. I want to get it all the way out here. In order for me to get it there, I will, uh, I'm just going to say that I pretend that I have some of this. Yep, and get a big old thing here. That one, get up there. Yes, please, and keep here. Is this the top? Yes, it is. And I don't exactly know how far this is. Well, I can do something like this. And then I can go back to this one and it'll be like this and one out. And that'll be the corner. And it's gonna be super silly that I want to actually protect the perimeter out here. There by having that covered, but I don't think that's a bad thing to do. Even though, so I'll have the stuff flowing. Basically, I'll put it out here. It'll flow all the way around. And eventually, ideally, if you didn't have this water, you would have it flow all the way around. I think that's pretty cool. There, but robots are busy. So what are we gonna do when we have busy robots? We are gonna just uh, make sure that we scale up the robots. We're down to 500, up to 500. We want more of that. I can actually set it up to 2000 and then at some point I'm going to change it so that it also here this one this one will now be let's do 2000 there that should be enough and you can see they will start working they'll work really slow unfortunately because they're not yeah they'll they'll work and let's see oh you know what I think I oops I think I actually want to double this mm, let me think I think I want to double this. It should be pretty simple to do. So that will be a quick doubling of this. Take all of these out. And that will be, we've uh, already signed all of this up front. So we know that that's going to work. I'm going to take all of these out, I think. Yes, I am. Um, this one. Right, I kind of got distracted. Didn't I say I wanted to do something else? Yeah, I did. Okay, and this is now going to be plastic coming in at what lane? Here. There. Let's go over to the plastic and get that one. Yep, actually, I think it'll be better if I did this and then that one. And then after that, I can restructure it. And just go straight through. There we go. And that was, uh, that was lasers, right? And this is now number, whoops. Oh, why is it number two though? Hmm. Now I'm getting confused. This one really should be taking the first one. It's just consistent to take the first one first there. And then I'm going to take the second one. Here. And then I'm going to do something else here. Because that one is different. That one. That's actually not so great. Why do I think this is better? Who knows? Who knows indeed? 
It's just that the quantities they produce are so low that really so many branches onto the bus. Plus this one would branch right into that one and I don't really need it. So we do this and we collect it and then we'll have the robots do the rest. It is within RoboPort network and that is good. Now onwards to the next part. That was what I said. The stone parts so we can get that sorted. And then we can work on our perimeter. Let's see. Is the Are we getting up here? No, we're not. What are we missing actually? There's just a lot of things missing. Maybe, maybe just maybe someone has been too ambitious here. I don't know. Could be like with the deletion of all of this. Um, I know. I don't know. It'll, it'll probably work. Oops. And that is definitely also something that needs to go here. I'm going down here. Oh, how I absolutely want to do something. That's just one thing I really, really want to do. I want to just copy that one down here and copy that one down. I just don't do it. Not, not just yet. Focus, my friends. Focus. You got important things to... Oh, actually, I have to. Kind of. I kind of have to. Yeah. Why do I kind of have to? Because I'm going to drag the coal through this. So if I'm dragging the coal through this... Oops. They just have to go up. And then... There... This one is not working or not relevant. This is not relevant. This is not relevant. This is not relevant. And instead I'll get that one, that one. And this is going down here. Yes. So that is, uh, this one is still, this is set to zero. So nothing is coming in here yet. But the idea is that I need to make sure that I can get, what can I get? I can get, this part here <clears throat> now I'm thinking I don't need very much here because this is gonna be stone bricks and stone bricks don't need to be built like this so you know I think I'll 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 try to be consistent here so let's take these two these out build this one and figure out where the oh really why why is why is that one not there hmm that's weird that one totally should be there anyway that's gonna be something we uh, place first of all we place it here and then we also place it there. Although we'll probably get a better understanding. Okay, and I do have this. Don't worry, we're not gonna build all of it, but we'll build the stuff that we need in order to get the rover ports built. And this one is definitely not gonna be like this. So what I'm looking at is here, 12, yeah. Because the thing is, Stone bricks are twice as fast, so I don't need to build it as big. I just need to build it like this. That means stone bricks, and since we are going to be make a lot of stone bricks, then I think it is better for us to do something like this. And then, uh, let's see if I can remember this. That one. Wow, it's been a while since I've been making one of these. There, that's a two by two balancer. But there is a problem here. The problem being, where is my... And I definitely don't want a two by two balancer. I want a one by one balancer. Never mind. we're gonna do this and we're gonna do that. <clears throat> Let's, oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. This one will now be rebalanced. That's gonna go out. This one is gonna go here. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And putting into boxes like so and like so. And these boxes will be filtered for stone bricks. Got it. And that will prioritize going through. But if it doesn't go through, then these ones can also go. Nice. And then that just goes onwards to the bus. 
somehow. We'll find out. So that is going to be... No. Yes. So that's all this is good. That means this is going to take two lanes in from this paint place. Then I'm going to get a third line in. That will just be the stone bricks going through. And then I'll get a fourth one here. This will only be for... Uh, for a landfill. Kind of don't want that to happen. All right, let me get the one I have for stone. This unloader seems to be just the unloader we're looking for. There we go. And it goes down here. Unloader. And from this location, I get in. That one. And I will also get this thing. Wow, that's a lot of crap in the way as well. Not this, not this, not this, and not this. So this will be our balancer, which will kind of, oops, obviously go up here. So I'm going to get one into that one. And the second one in here. And the third one goes into just here. And the fourth one is going in and becoming just landfill. That was, again, lots of research. At this point, we don't really care about what research we take. We just want to keep it going. There's nothing particularly must have about this uh, research anymore. That's going to be here. That one and two inbound. I think two inbound should be enough for what we need here. And that's going to be landfill, landfill, done. <clears throat> and now it's just filling in the blanks for this part. I'm going to help the poor robots out because they are kind of strained here. Let's see if there is a quick way to make this Done. Now all of this needs to be unloaded. Doesn't really seem like I'm getting these built and I'm pretty sure that's because someone... Oh yeah, by the way, we should start using the better inserters here for unloading. We'll add that eventually. Let me see. Is anyone anything? No, it's just there's just too many things being built that it just doesn't make sense to wait, sit here and wait for it. I'm gonna get help on this. Oh, one of them was made. Oops. Oh, that's the last one. That's crazy. Crazy lucky. Okay, so things are definitely coming in, but they're coming in like ridiculously slow. That one, let's get this part done. Ta-da, we're getting it, we're getting it. Now all we need is just this one so that we can get that up and running. I'm just going to salvage my car so it doesn't get in trouble. There we go. And all right. So is this working? Well, that's going to be a little gap there. Uh, this also needs to have one of these and one of those. Yep. Let's make sure we get this. I am not sure if there's something that just doesn't exist in this uh, build. Oops. There. Like, am I missing something really? Or is it just uh, entities have... There are too many entities in progress at this point. I think it's just too many entities in, in progress. That's okay. I'm going to go... Ooh, that's kind of annoying. They're going to be rotated, by the way. Yeah. I'm going to get these on the bus. No, I'm not. 
because I don't have any power, <laughs> any more robot or any more to do that. Okay, so we're going to do something else. This one up here, is that even working? Nope. We're going to do the last thing we want to do, and that is uh, looking at the perimeter defense. So I am going to grab my car and get some... Hmm, Yeah, we're going to look at the perimeter defense. I want to get it so that we can just have the robots do it for us. And it's going to start from here by getting some oil out and then oil that way. And go towards the perimeter. Go, go, go. It's too much. Oops, hello train. There. Oh, thank you. And what I need now is some... Some things I don't have. I can... Here. <clears throat> I'll pretend that I have it. I'll pretend. And... I want to make it, like... Here, I think. So that that one can reach here yes okay so obviously this is going to be our idea and i'm going to make it first of all we're going to just make it this one and then i'm going to figure out how many we can get sort of on inside okay one if we do it max distance that's more than half, right? And on the other side, if I do it max to one, two, and then three, then you can see that the middle ones are a bit too close. So how much do I have here? I have, yeah. So I think if I make all of these come max distance minus one. Max distance, minus one. And I'm going to have max distance in the middle, though. This one. Max distance, minus one. And... One, two... That's eight in difference, and that's eight. And this is nine. If I look here, this is eight. This is eight. No, this is nine. This is nine. And this is nine. Uh, so what is... Something is not working here. It, this is not symmetrical. I think that this one... Needs to be nine as well. This one then becomes eight. So it goes eight. Eight, nine, eight, nine, eight, nine. And then they don't connect. Okay, okay. So I guess this might be the one that should be one over. There. So it goes eight, nine, nine, and then eight, eight, nine, nine, and then eight. That is symmetrical. Good. I'll try it. I will test to see if it really is symmetrical here. I'll just by flipping it. Yeah, flipping it was fine. So it is symmetrical, good. That's gonna be our baseline. So that's the one we're gonna to spend or to spam everywhere like this. And okay, that was good. Maybe that was what I actually should have designed it for. Making sure that I can jump across the middle train. There, that's gonna be good. And this side as well is going to be good. Uh, it's not really getting there, is it? No, it's not. So we also have to make sure that I get that one. Okay, well, that's not not this part, though. And not this part, but this part. And then undo and undo. There. But this thing has to be including... Let's take from here. Because we're going to need this to be a blueprint. 
that you can use as well. And let's see what all the crap that does not belong there, all the crap that does not belong there, all the crap that does not belong there. That is going to be our perimeter defense. And I just realized it's not going to be because I am also going to strengthen our perimeter on the outside. I'm just going to double wall it like so. And then try one more time. Nope. It definitely has to get. Yep. And it has to go over and take exactly that one. Good. Not that. Not that. But not this either. Not this. freaking annoying thing they're so annoying that i have fixed it so many times and they keep messing up i'm gonna try one more time because i have to make sure that i don't get the uh none of this none of this none of this crap none of this crap are we good i think i'll take that out good that's it that's it and this one will be 100 by 100 and be slided a bit like that i think let's try it <laughs> not at all um And then we can stamp it down all the way across. Well, not there, but whatever. And that's going to be our southern perimeter. Perim perimeter. And over on this side. Yeah, we're going to have some issues with these. Because someone forgot to make them make walls there. Yeah, that's a... <clears throat> I think that's a good time to, uh, to wrap this one. Um... Again, I'm going to wrap it when we have lots of robots in action. So what we have basically just summarized what we've done here is now we are working on our perimeter. What I actually should do is just make sure that um, that our perimeter is actually. Yeah, I think I'll. Uh, I, we're, we're not wrapping up. I'm just going to cut and then you'll see when some of this one sort of settles down a bit. Let's do that. And so I was uh, about to just do some casual things between uh, sessions here. Uh, between, and, uh, you know, this is all about securing the perimeter, right? All about securing the perimeter. So what the hell are the biders doing in here? There. Okay, at least they had the decency to, do, to walk closer to one of our defensive outposts. Damn. There. You want to go out here and... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so this is exactly why I want a defensive perimeter out here, because, well, you know, right, this this location, for example, not really very safe. There, 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 and then I'm going to... Nope, I am not going to do anything. I guess I forgot to bring that. Oh, well, yeah, so um, with the pollution and stuff going, this one is actually being uh, inside our pollution cloud. The rest of it is, we can kind of deal with. But uh, you can we, we're gonna wrap this one up here because we are now getting a lot of things. I worked on the mainly worked on the right hand side. Oh, that's not it. Uh, here we are getting all of these, but there's still some gaps. Every time there's a gap, then it's not gonna build any of them, and that really sucks. So here where is our input? Our input is right here. You can see these ones have oil, and just as soon as the first one is missing just any little thing, then the rest of them will not have oil. So, and here there's also missing some. So you can see down here, we have still like many, many things that are not done. And I'll just let those run. I am working on supporting some of these things just to make sure that we get a bit faster, but that is just something that uh, we want to do. So the idea here is we've now upgraded the wall. It's very safe. We got stone coming in. We have our stone build here. It is actually working, but we're again missing just a few of, of these. I have built some handcrafted some even just to make sure we have enough for this build we're also getting quite a lot more 
the, uh, quite a lot more of the landfill, so that's good. That means we can actually start getting some of the landfill up here as well. You can see that that's slowly going to start it. So a lot, a lot of things are going on, and it will just wrapping up our base and then we'll do that next time and then we can basically start because now we have all the materials inbound iron copper stone steel stone coal and oil inbound in pretty good quantities with decent amounts and then we can start scaling up probably need to secure my perimeters just a bit better uh, or my secure my outpost with laser turrets but that's going to be in the next episode so thank you very much everyone for joining for watching for subscribing for supporting on patrons i'm really happy that to see that there are a few people more who's been choosing to support and as i promised this series will continue as long as there are templars of the path or masters of the path patron level who are uh, active and haven't had their episodes yet so that means it could go very long or it could be well it's probably going to go uh, be a very nice long series, I hope. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Until then, take care. And as always, stay effective.